Today, let's learn one of the most useful expressions you can create using the plain past form, the ta form. We use today's expression to describe our past experiences as in, I have done this, or I have never done that. I hope you can tell me your past experiences after watching today's lesson. Feel free to leave your own sentences in the comment area below. Okay, let me explain the structure with a simple example. For instance, if you want to say, I have been to Japan, you phrase it this way in Japanese. I have the experience of going to Japan. So you are going to have the verb have, arimas in the sentence. And the entire sentence is going to be like this. Nihon. Ni itta koto ga arimas. Nihon ni itta koto ga arimas. Nihon ni itta koto ga arimas. Point ichi. You put the action, in this case, go, in the plain past form. Point ni. Then, you add this koto after that. Koto in this context means something like an incident, occasion, or experience. Since this is the experience that you have, you mark it with the pariko ga. Now, if you haven't been to Japan, then, you say you don't have the experience of going to Japan by simply changing the verb into the negative form. Nihon ni itta koto ga arimasen. Nihon ni itta koto ga arimasen. Nihon ni itta koto ga arimasen. This is completely grammatical, and the sentence makes perfect sense to any Japanese person. But if you want to sound more natural, you can do this. When we don't have a certain experience, we usually mark this koto with the pariko wa, the contrast marker, to highlight the contrast between this particular experience that we don't have versus so many other experiences that we do have. So in this lesson, let's use the pariko wa to mark the experiences that you don't have. One more thing that I want to point out. In current Japan, many people now use this version instead of arimasen to say don't have. Nai desu. Nai desu. For whatever reason, this nai desu is getting way more common, especially in spoken language. This is not the original negative form of arimas, so some older generations do not accept nai desu as proper Japanese. But you know, language always changes and evolves over years, right? So in this lesson, I'm going to use this version, nai desu. Just keep in mind that in written language, especially when you are writing formal documents or letters, you are not supposed to use nai desu, okay? In that case, please stick to arimasen, which is more proper in writing. Let me read these two sentences for you one more time. I have been to Japan. Nihon ni itta koto ga arimasu. I haven't been to Japan. Nihon ni itta koto wa nai desu. So here is the summary of the formation when you talk about your past experiences as in I have done it or I haven't done it. では、新しい動詞で練習してみましょう。Okay, let's practice with some new verbs. I'm going to use these four verbs. 
to have, own, or keep a pet. 買う買う To learn a skill. 習う習う To have a fight or argument with a person. 喧嘩する喧嘩する Please note that you mark the person with the particle to when you use 喧嘩する By the way, nowadays it's getting more common to write 喧嘩 in katakana like this. So I'm going to use this version in this lesson. The reason for this tendency is unknown, but here's my personal guess. That word 喧嘩 Fighting or arguing is part of the daily life for young children. But the kanji for kenka is too difficult for them to write. But then, if you write kenka in hiragana, because of its round and curvy shape, that word looks too soft and gentle for the emotions involved in fighting or arguing. So people started to write 喧嘩 in katakana instead of in kanji or hiragana, and now it has become a norm. But again, this is only my guess. To tell a lie to a person. 嘘をつく。嘘をつく。When you specify to whom you lie, as in, lie to my mother, for example, You mark the person with the particle に。On the side note, 嘘 by itself is a noun meaning a lie. 次、okay, now let's talk about having or not having the experiences of doing these things. I have had a dog, meaning I have the experience of keeping a dog as a pet. 犬を飼ったことがあります。犬を飼ったことがあります。I haven't had a cat, meaning I don't have the experience of keeping a cat as a pet. 猫を飼ったことはないです。猫を飼ったことはないです。You can also specify the time frame like this. When I was a child, I have had a dog. 子供の頃、犬を飼ったことがあります。子供の頃、犬を飼ったことがあります。I have learned piano. ピアノを習ったことがあります。ピアノを習ったことがあります。I haven't learned Spanish. スペイン語を習ったことはないです。スペイン語を習ったことはないです。I have had a fight or argument with a friend. 友達と喧嘩したことがあります。友達と喧嘩したことがあります。I haven't had a fight or argument with my mother. 母と喧嘩したことはないです。母と喧嘩したことはないです。I have told a lie to my younger brother. 弟に嘘を
ついたことがあります。弟に嘘をついたことがあります。I haven't told a lie to my mother. 母に嘘をついたことはないです。母に嘘をついたことはないです。Now, if you want to emphasize that I have never told a lie to my mother, Then we phrase it this way in Japanese. I have not told a lie to my mother even once. Not even once in Japanese is 一度も一度も And you can use 一度も only in negative sentences, okay? So the sentence I have never told a lie to my mother is going to be like this. 一度も母に嘘をついたことはないです。一度も母に嘘をついたことはないです。Or you can put 一度も here and go like this. 母に一度も嘘をついたことはないです。母に一度も嘘をついたことはないです。Or you can put 一度も here and go like this too. 母に嘘をついたことは一度もないです。母に嘘をついたことは一度もないです。I tend to use this version most frequently since having 一度も right before ないです makes it sound clear that the experience hasn't existed even once. Please watch this lesson to learn how flexible the word order is in Japanese sentences. I'll leave the link to the lesson in the show more section below. どうでしたか I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you want to join my online course, Please visit the website smilenihongo.com slash class. I have grammar courses from Japanese 1 to 6, a listening course, and a kanji startup course. You can get a discount by signing up for a course package. Right now I have three packages, but they are not always open for new enrollments, so please sign up when they are available. You can find all the information in the description box below. See you in the next lesson. ではまた次のレッスンで会いましょう。